Hello, and welcome to Inside China Today. I'm Deirdre Brennan, and here are some of the stories we're following for Wednesday, February 25th. Taiwan plans to test a new missile in May. Amnesty International criticizes an EU decision not to censor China. And Hong Kong moves to end a ban on live geese and duck imports. Taiwan plans to develop an anti-ballistic missile as part of its move to counter rival China's rapid military modernization. Media reports on the island say the new anti-missile missiles will be tested in May. The weapons are designed to shoot down incoming medium and long-range ballistic missiles. Taipei says it must maintain a strong defense in the face of Beijing's ongoing threats to attack the island should it choose independence. Amnesty International has criticized a European Union decision not to forward a joint resolution critical of China's human rights record at a United Nations meeting next month. The International Rights Watchdog says the decision will send a disappointing message to victims of human rights violations. The group says the improvements noted by the EU do not justify relaxing scrutiny of China's human rights situation. Amnesty says that while the Chinese authorities have taken some steps in the past year, in practice very little has changed. After touring a model prison outside Beijing, an EU human rights delegation says China will eventually need to allow visitors to investigate ordinary prisons. The group says this is the only way Beijing will be able to convince them of real improvements in prisoners' rights. The team of diplomats and human rights experts spent two days in China, pressing judicial officials to make practical changes in a variety of human rights areas. One diplomat says the jail the group toured on Tuesday is one of 50 model prisons which China uses to set the quality standards for the country's 650 others. Meanwhile, two Chinese nationals were arrested in Manhattan on Monday for allegedly offering to sell human organs to an undercover agent posing as head of a kidney dialysis center. The U.S. Attorney's Office in Manhattan says the organs allegedly came from prisoners executed in China. One of the men professes to have watched the executions in order to ensure the organs were all right. While Western Human Rights Group al alleged China routinely uses the organs of executed prisoners, the Chinese government denies the practice. Hong Kong will lift an import ban on live ducks and geese imports from the Chinese mainland by the end of March. A government spokesman says hygiene improvements at the wholesale market and slaughterhouse should prevent a recurrence of the deadly bird flu. He says it is an important step to separate water birds from chickens to prevent cross-infection with the flu virus. The ban on waterfowl was imposed alongside a similar ban on live chickens in December with the aim of stopping the spread of the virus, which killed six people and ignited fears of an international epidemic. And now for a look at Thursday's weather. Expect clear skies in Beijing. Daytime highs will reach the high 40s with overnight lows in the high 30s. Skies will be partly cloudy in Shanghai. Highs will reach the low 50s with overnight lows in the mid 30s. Expect partly cloudy skies in Hong Kong. Highs will reach around 70 with overnight lows in the mid 50s. It will be partly cloudy in Taipei. Highs will reach the mid 60s with overnight lows in the mid 50s. And that's Inside China Today. For the European Internet Network, this is Deirdre Brown.